I've been really busy and my shed is right full of upcycling projects and I'm excited to share them with you. So come on in and get some inspiration. Spring is finally here and I'm able to get out into my shed and work again. It feels fantastic, but my shed is full. Stuff that I've been working on all winter, I've kind of been piling in here and I haven't listed anything for sale yet. I sell everything locally and I'm ready to get going on that, but I wanted to share everything with you first so you can maybe see something that might inspire you or something that you might wanna try and make yourself. So I'm gonna show you everything that I have in here that I've made over the last little bit and I hope you're gonna enjoy. Tin cans are probably one of my favorite things to upcycle and I certainly did a lot of those over the last little bit. This is one that I did some paper mache on and a custom homemade napkin. I just added some beads on the bottom. It's a perfect little place to put a faux plant. This is beautiful. I love this organic um, graphic and I just put a rusty mason jar lid on the top and the bottom. I have full tutorials on all these techniques. So if you go back in my channel, you can check all of those out. This was distressed with dirt and Mod Podge. Added one of my labels that was on a coffee stained piece of paper. And the Bumblebee, these are all in my Etsy store also. I love this one and I just did a baking soda paint on this to give it some texture. These are all fantastic gifts or something that you can put a full plant in or use it as a pencil and pen holder. So many possibilities, but these are some of my best sellers. If you wanna put a real plant in them, I just drill a couple holes in the bottom and that gives you some good drainage and they look really pretty out on your porch or on a deck. This is why you never throw out any glass jars or bottles. These are all beautiful. I've given them a real primitive look. I did a live video where I did a lot of these so you can see the technique there. They're all made with graphics that I have in my Etsy store. And if you've joined my Patreon, club for graphics you will get these at a discounted price 70% off or if you're a member of my channel you'll get a discount code for 50% off so if you'd like to join either of those groups I'll put those links down below in the description this one was just painted with some chalk paint I have a full tutorial on how to paint glass uh, and it works fantastic. It won't chip. It won't peel. You can check that out and see how I do it But I painted this with the chalk paint using that technique and then I just distressed it with some instant coffee And it gave this real grungy primitive look added a coffee stained graphic on the front with some Mod Podge and this is just an olive jar This is one of my favorite graphics the busy bee organic honey put some coffee stained um, cheesecloth on the top and did my primitive dirt technique on this. This is gorgeous. And I did the same technique on this one. Again, decoupaging on one of my graphics from my Etsy store, ripping along the edges so it gives it a nice tattered look and then sealed it up with some polyacrylic sealer. And these are all really great sellers. Another technique, the same as the first one. And I like to sometimes just add a little ribbon on the top or you can add some twine on the top also. One of the questions that I get asked the most is how I price my items. And I actually have a formula that I use. I have a booklet in my Etsy store that takes you step by step through all of the pricing of these DIYs and whether you wanna sell it wholesale or retail, this is gonna help you and everybody's area is different. So I can't tell you, you need to sell this for X amount because in your area it might sell for cheaper or it might sell for more, or you might have more cost in your item than what I have. So this formula is really handy in this booklet. If you wanna grab that, I'll put that link down in the description and that's how I price all of my DIYs using that formula. DIYs don't always have to be hard. This was just a bunt pan that I picked up at the thrift store, used some E6000 and glued on a bit of a spindle. And I have a really beautiful display bowl, super simple, super easy. And you can look for these because you always will find them at the thrift store. Another thing that sells really well for me are these spindles. These are just bits and pieces of spindles that I've drilled a hole in the top, added some wire, and they look really pretty, just hung up on any decor in your home. I've done some yellow ones and you can do them 
in so many different colors or just leave them the wood color but I always have all kinds of little bits and pieces of spindles and like I said they sell really well for me these are wine bottles that I've painted with my homemade white chalk paint and then I have done the reverse technique on them and with the Mod Podge and my graphics and then this one I just painted a little bit of acrylic paint on top of that B to give it a pop of color these sell really well and this one's a heaven quote and I make all kinds of these they're really popular now underneath all of these dried flowers I got quite a bit in here these are ones that I've just dried over the time and I'll stick them into DIYs if we get down here you can see it's an old teapot and I've just used my Cricut and I've cut out a graphic using some permanent vinyl and added it onto the teapot and it's a great way to display kitchen utensils or you can put a plant in it or for me you can put in a old skate guard and some dried flowers now I'm going to show you the same graphic that I used on this bottle. I did a different technique and added it to a candle that I picked up at Michael's. I took the label, the original label off it from Michael's and then I added this one. This is a fantastic transfer method using label sheets and shelf liner from the dollar store. And I'll just show you, it kind of creates like a sticker that you can stick on glass and add it to your DIY projects. This is a really fantastic technique. If you haven't tried that one, give it a try. These sell fantastic. One of my favorite graphics, like I said before, and you can always pick up even candles at the thrift store that have not been used and do this technique on and make a little bit of extra side money. Did you see this video where I upcycled this hanger into a primitive piece of home decor? I love this technique and it is just using some instant coffee and Mod Podge and making a grungy hanger to hang a piece of coffee stained paper that I printed a quote on. And you know all those spice racks that you always see at the thrift store? Grab them, upcycle them, and they hold craft paint perfectly. This is a pickle jar that I painted with my homemade chalk paint and then I added a graphic that's in my Etsy store of the cutest cow and I printed this off on my inkjet printer and I show you how you can do this without having the ink run and it works really great. Added a piece of, this is actually bed sheet that I coffee stained, tore into strips and I've been using them on my projects to tie on the top of jars or bottles. That's a really cheap alternative to a DIY ribbon. And this is uh, so simple to put together. This is one of my favorite signs that I've done in a while. I use the salt wash paint technique and it creates amazing chippy paint that you can use as a base on any of your signs. And this was just a piece of salvage wood that I had. And I did this technique on it, added my Mod Podge reverse graphics. Looks fantastic. And the antique sign below, I used my packing tape technique to create that chippy finish underneath and then used my Mod Podge reverse graphics to add the antiques on the front. And this is definitely me, I'm a vintage junkie and this was just an old picture frame that I found at the thrift store. It had really dated varnish on the frame. So I used some oven cleaner to remove that. It left this great finish. I put a piece of wood in the middle, added my graphics. I love it. Here's some more bottles that I painted with the homemade chalk paint added some of my graphics doing the reverse technique and these are also really good sellers and they're great to do up seasonally for Christmas, Easter, Halloween, so many possibilities. If you've been following along you know that my favorite DIY to do and my favorite upcycles are salvaged wood signs. All of these signs have been made with free wood using my own graphics so much fun putting them together but I have all kinds and I want to make sure that you can see them all so you can find all kinds of inspiration. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put on some fun music and I'm going to show you all of these different signs. I hope you find some inspiration. Let's get started.
I hope you enjoyed today's video and you found lots of inspiration. I love sharing everything that I've made and I've thrifted and I've upcycled. And if you can take something from this video, create something yourself and make a little bit of extra money, it makes my heart happy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. And if you love this video, I'm sure you're gonna love either of these next two.